Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be using a light motion to recreate Emangadji's animation. But before we get started, take a look at the preview. This makes around 1.2 to 1.5 is great until you realize that we have 50% margin space. I have to roll that into. Dear friends, thank you for watching our videos. If you enjoy them, please consider subscribing to our channel. Friends, please show your support by clicking on the thanks button. Okay, friends, let's do this. As you can see, I have already added my background image. You can use your own image or video. Okay, friends, first, we will add a rectangle shape to the timeline. Now adjust this shape as I shown in the video. Please change the shape's color to white. Now change shape's position. Now make a duplicate copy of this layer. Hide it for a moment. Let's rename it as white line. Now make a duplicate copy of this layer. Place it here. Change this shape color, select any color. Adjust this shape size as shown. Place the shape over the white line as shown. Now add a position keyframe here. Move to the frame number. 1.10. Here change this shape position as shown. Now smooth keyframe curves. Now select these two layers and tap on the exclusion icon for masking. Here we have some part of the line. Let's fix that. Simply move this layer one frame forward. Now it's perfect. Rename this layer if you want. Now add a rectangle shape. Now rotate this shape to 45 degrees or minus 45 degrees. Now position this shape over the line as indicated. Duplicate it. Change this shape position as shown. Now select these two layers and group them. Now select these two layers and tap on the exclusion icon for masking. Rename this layer if you want. Now make a duplicate copy of this layer. Let's rename it as green line. Now tap on edit group. Let me rename this layer first. Now tap on edit group. Here change this shape color to green. Move this layer here. You should start this layer from frame number 10. At here, trim it. Now we will extend all these layers duration to 5 seconds. Now I am applying blur effect to mask shape layer. At this frame, we will add text. Select any font you like for your text, and select white color to text, and adjust text size and position. After that, apply flip layer effect to text layer. Now increase axis value to 90 degrees. Increase pivot X and Y value to 100. Now at this frame, add angle keyframe. Move 10 frames forward and add another one. Now at the first keyframe, decrease angle value as shown. Now smooth keyframe curves. Apply Gaussian blur effect to this layer. Add a keyframe here. Now here decrease blur strength. Now smooth keyframe curves. Now we will create fade in animation to this text layer. Let's extend this layer duration. Now duplicate this layer. Start this layer from here. Now edit this text. Change position as shown. Now duplicate this layer. 
Move this layer here. Now edit this text. Change position as shown. I have created one more text with bold font guys. Now select all text layers and group them. Let's adjust text position. Now we will apply gradient color to text layer. Now we will create one more line animation from here. I will skip this line animation process. You already know how to animate a line. Now add a rectangle shape. Adjust shape size as shown. Now change shape color to black. Now apply blur effect to this layer. Adjust blur strength. Extend this layer duration. Drag it here. Now adjust position. Now create fade in animation to this layer. But keep opacity 80%. Now at this frame, add this image. Adjust this image size and position. Now add text. Let's place it here. Now select these two layers and group them. Let me adjust position a little bit more. Now add a position keyframe here. Move 1.15 seconds forward, and here change position. Now smooth keyframe curves. Let's extend this layer duration. Now at this keyframe, we will create fade out animation to text layer, but do not decrease opacity down. Keep it something around 30%. Let's create fade in animation to this layer. Here, I have created one more text animation guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and comment below to let us know whose editing you want us to recreate.